But the first one uh, is called The Horde. When the moon was new and the sun young, of silver and gold the gods sung. In the green grass they silver spilled, and the white waters they with gold filled. Ere the pit was dug or hell yawned, ere dwarf was bred or dragon spawned, there were elves of old, and strong spells under green hills in hollow dells. They sang as they wrought many fair things, and the bright crowns of the elf kings. But their doom fell, and their song waned, by iron hewn and by steel chained. Greed that sang not nor with mouth smiled in dark holes, their wealth piled, graven silver and carven gold. Over elven home the shadow rolled. There was an old dwarf in a dark cave, to silver and gold his fingers clave. With hammer and tongs and anvil stone, he worked his hands to the hard bone, and coins he made, and strings of rings, and thought to buy the power of kings. But his eyes grew dim, and his ears dull, and the skin grew yellow on his old skull. Through his bony claw, with a pale sheen, the stony jewels slipped unseen. No feet he heard, though the earth shaked, when the young dragon his thirst slaked. The stream smoked at his dark door, the flames hissed on the dank floor, and he died alone in the red fire. His bones were ashes in the hot mire. There was an old dragon under gray stone. His red eyes blinked as he lay alone. His joy was fled and his youth spent. He was knobbed and wrinkled, and his limbs bent in the long years to his gold chained. In his heart's furnace the fire waned. To his belly's slime gems stuck thick, silver and gold he would snuff and lick. He knew the place of the least ring underneath the shadow of his black wing. Of thieves he thought on his hard bed, and dreamed that on their flesh he fed, their bones crushed and their blood drank. His ears drooped and his breath sank. Male rings rang, he heard them not. A voice echoed in his deep grot. A young warrior with a bright sword called him forth to defend his horn. His teeth were knives and of horn his hide, but iron tore him and his flame died. Mm -hmm. There was an old king on a high throne. His white beard lay on knees of bone. His mouth savored neither meat nor drink, nor his ears song. He could only think of his huge chest with its carven lid, where pale gems and gold lay hid in secret treasury in the dark ground. Its strong doors were with iron bound. The swords of his thanes were dull with rust, his glory fallen, his rule unjust, his halls hollow, his bowers cold, but king he was of elvish gold. He heard not the horns in the mountain pass, he smelt not the blood on the trodden grass, but his halls were burned, his kingdom lost, in a cold pit his bones were tossed. There is an old horde under dark rock, forgotten, behind doors none can unlock, that grim gate no man may pass. Mm. On the ground grows the green grass, there the sheep feed and the larks soar, and the wind blows from the seashore. The old horde the night shall keep, while earth waits and the elves Thank you, and on another note, we are going to do another poem by Professor Tolkien. If you are ready. Yes. Are you <laughs> it is called Errantry. 
There was a merry messenger, a mariner, a passenger. He built a gilded gondola to wander in and had in her a load of yellow oranges and porridge for his provender. He perfumed her with marjoram and cardamom and lavender. He called the winds of Argosies with cargoes in to carry him across the rivers seventeen that lay between to carry him. He landed all in loneliness, where stonily in pebbles song the running river Derelin goes merrily forever on. He journeyed then through Meadowland to Shadowland that dreary lay, and under hill and over hill went roving still a weary way. He sat and sang a melody, his errantry a terry. He begged a pretty butterfly that fluttered by to marry him. She scorned him and she scoffed at him. She laughed at him unpitying. So long he studied wizardry and sigildry and smithy. He wove a tissue airy thin to snare her in. To follow her he made him beetle leather wing and feather wing of swallow hair. He caught her in bewilderment, in filament of spider. <laughs> <laughs> He made her soft pavilions of lilies and a bridal bed of flowers and a thistle down to nestle down and rest her in, in silken webs of filmy white and silver light he dressed her in. He threaded gems in necklaces, but recklessly she squandered them oh. <laughs> and fell to bitter quarreling. So. Sorrowing, she wandered on, and there he left her, withered, as shivering, he fled away, with windy weather falling. <laughs> on swallow wind, he sped away. He passed the archipelagos, where yellow grows the marigold, and countless silver fountains are, and mountains are of fairy gold. He set to war and foraging, a harrying beyond the sea, and roving over Belle Marie and felony and fantasy. He made a shield and morion of coral and of ivory. His sword he made of emerald and terrible his rivalry with elven knights of airy and fairy, with paladins <laughs> who golden haired and shining eyed came riding by to challenge him. Of crystal, his virgin, his scabbard was chalcedony. Of silver, ticked at plenilun, his spear was hewn of ebony. His javelins were malachite and stalactite. He brandished them and went and fought the dragonflies of paradise and vanquished them. He battled with the Dumbledores, the Hunmer horns and honeybees, and won the golden honeycomb. Then, running home on sunny seas, in ship of leaves and gossamer, with blossom for a canopy, he sat and sang, and burnished up and furnished up his palace. He tarried for a little while in little isles that lonely lay, but found naught there but blowing grass. And so, at last, the only way he took and turned and coming home with honeycomb, to memory his errand came and message too. In daring do and glamoury, he had forgot them, journeying and turning a wanderer. So now he must depart again and start again his gondola. Forever still a messenger, a passenger, a terrier, a roving as a feather does, a weather-driven mariner. Mm -hmm. <laughs>